Hi, a friend of mine uh, wanted me to show uh, his son how to make a pedal steel or a, a lap steel sound kind of like a pedal steel. And I have no idea what level he's at, so I thought I'm going to start from zero here. Basically, I'm going to show you what we're going to do on the guitar, and then we're going to do it on the lap steel. But it's very chordal. So if you know how to play an E and then an A, but then only use the top, the little two strings. This would be the two open, and then, then you're the second string, second fret. That's the, about the most basic pedal steel sounding lick there is when you stretch it, which would, if I did it up here, it would be something like this. There would be E, A. So now that you know that, now we're going to do the same thing on the lap steel, just so you understand what we're doing. And then if you take the E and move that up to the fifth fret, that's an A. So now we do the same thing at that spot, and we're going to go to A to a D, which would sound like A, D. If we did it up here, play C, it's going to be the, it's all the one in the four chord. C, F. C, F. C, F. Make sense? Now we're going to do the lap steel. Okay, now, now we have the lap steel here. And the lap steel is tuned just like you're playing an E chord on the guitar. So if I had the guitar right here, and I would go like this. So it's E, B, G sharp, E, B, E. Now, the reason I do it that way is because if you're a guitar player, you don't have to relearn anything. You already know where you are on the fingerboard. So it's gonna sound just like that. With. So it's gonna sound just like that E chord we played. And so if you go to the fifth fret, now you have an A chord. Seventh fret, B chord, just like a regular, uh, the fretboard if you're playing bar chords to, on a normal tuning there. So, now, what we just talked about, going from E to A, is E, but we're going to only use two strings, E to A. Like I showed you on the guitar. Now, we're going to do that same thing at E up here. There's E open E, or the, an octave up E. So, all you can do is do an E, and you're going to bend the string. You're going to leave the E string is going to stay the same spot. The bar is not going to move, but you're going to bend the string right here with your ring finger up. So it's going to sound like this. And you're just trying to go up one whole step. <coughs> so you're just on E to A, and then if you were in an A, there's an A, remember the fifth fret, then you're going to go to A to D, one to the four chord. If A is the one, then D is the four chord, so it's A, A, D. G, Just remember they're always going to the one to the four chord, so if you're E, four chord is A. If you're in G, four chord is C. For right now, that's all I want you to do is practice holding the, holding the bar and trying to bend it up in tune. It's harder to bend down low because it's a much a stronger angle there. The higher up your yard is, the easier it is to go up, and E is real simple. And it's real easy to find the E too because you can play and then harmonics. So that's the whole lesson right now. Just want you to practice that. 
learn. You're going to one to the four, one to the four chord, one chord to the four chord. And if you don't know your numbers, if you're in the key of C, C, D, E, F, G. So G is the five chord, F is the four chord. So G would be one, two, three, four, five. G, A, B, C is the four chord. D is the five chord. Okay, make sense? Got to understand one, four, and five as a minimum. Anyway, check that out, and I'll tell you, get that down, and we'll work on some more later.